Hello guys, in this video we are going to use Crash Pad Tricks. So I went into Champions Arena to get more accurate and better examples for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first one we are going to take a look at is the Short Pad. So what most people do is they hit like that, so they can bounce the head off of the cone. But in this case you are bouncing your head off of the floor. You can place a cone outside or floor to reach the same distance. So this is how it looks compared to the cone one. So to do this trick you have to stand next to the middle because when throwing the crash pad you want the left wall to break. At the same time as you're throwing you're still holding your left movement band or it will not work. So you can break ramps or structures outside, as long as there is no floor, you will be able to land. So here is an example where I'm getting a kill off of it. So you can also do that by bouncing it on the wall in front of you and it will make you able to relocate really close to reset the fight. If you want to break the floor also, you can just edit like that and uh, he's gonna have one less piece to connect to. So you've probably already seen this move to get into someone's box. So for the counters, there's the U-block. Another simple way is just to build a ramp. If there's nothing inside a box, it's faster to build a ramp. But if you already have a cone, you just need to edit it into a ramp. With the cone, you can even do this edit and protect two sides at the same time. So yes, you can edit like that and edit out if you want to make sure it's not getting in, into your box. So here are a few examples where you can see I cannot get into his box because he had an edited cone. Here's another example with the ramp where I cannot get in. And even if he edits, it will still not push you in. But you can see there, here because the cone is not edited, that I can get in. So the U block can be passed if you use this new method. So to be able to do that, you want to throw it on the ground, but not like this. You want to throw at a slightly angle and hold left and forward movement to get in. Another simple way to get in uh, if there is a ramp or cone is just to stand in the corner. So even with the triple edit on the cone, if you throw at an angle, you will be able to get in, but not on the other side, because you need to reach the bottom part of the cone with the corner of the pad, so you will only be able to get in on one side. Now some more examples about the crash dive I already showed you in the previous video. So this is how you set up, you place a cone, two walls, and you get inside a box. So do not stand on the edge or this might happen if you break the wall. So obviously you want to build a ramp inside or a cone as you land. 
but because of the surprise effect, you can usually get the first shot off. Also, most of the time they will already have a cone or ramp built inside, so you better go for the shot first. Here you can see from his perspective that he cannot see me well because of the pad. So here another example to show you that even if they build the ramp, you can just pressure and you will eventually phase through the ramp. If you build a ramp, they will be a bit disoriented and you can still get the kill off of it. So this is a method to break height. So all you need is to stand two tiles away and you will be able to land a crash pad at nine tiles height, which is the maximum height at which you can throw it. So about the movement, crash pads are really useful when you're getting double your kid uh, into the zone. You just have to build super high and destroy the pad before crash padding away from your enemy. Just to make sure they cannot shoot you when you're crash padding. So here are the common mistakes. If you throw a crash pad on your ramp into your box, most of the time the guy who is pressuring you is gonna get launched with you. And they can shoot you in the air when you cannot build. So this happened to me and uh, yeah, don't do it. So what you want to do is to crash pad them away so you can beam them in the air when they cannot do anything. So you have to throw where they are. If you are mid game and trying to rotate, build two walls high before you throw a crash pad. This because you can connect up to four height with walls. And also because if you launch from height, you will be less vulnerable. You can still get to 4 height by breaking every build around you and bouncing your head off of the floor. This will let you build from the ground. Just make sure there is no structures connected to your cone. If your opponent is low on HP, you don't have to use uh, all these measures, but you can still use them before landing so you have uh, an advantage in height. So if this already happened to you when uh, you're trying to jump and uh, you're on uh, on a slope, just build the floor so you can bounce off of it. Most of the time when you use a crash pad like that, you will land in someone's box, so be ready to box him. Another use of the crash pad is when you're stuck in end zones, you can uh, turn that into an advantage and uh, get out of this situation. So, thank you for watching the video guys, see you next time.